Hey everyone, it's Mark here from the Blue Moo channel, and today we're diving into something I know a lot of you have been curious about. Finding that perfect, budget-friendly short-throw projector for your home or office. You know, the kind that lets you get a massive screen size without needing like an entire football field of space between the wall and the unit itself? Yeah, those are pretty cool, right? So we've been scouring the market, testing a bunch of projectors, and guess what? I've found some gems that I'm super excited to share with you guys. Um, the best part is that you won't have to break the bank to get a decent one, which is always a huge plus. And remember, if any of these catch your eye, you can find all the links to the products down in the description below. All right, let's get into it and figure out which one of these projectors is going to be the perfect addition to your movie nights or presentations. So, um, you're in the market for a short throw projector and you've got your eye on the Optoma GT1080 HDR, right? All right, let's get into it. First off, this beast is perfect if you're tight on space. Because it's a short throw projector, you can get a huge image from just a few feet away. We're talking about a 100 inch picture from just over four feet. That's pretty insane, especially for those of you in like a small apartment or if you wanna set it up in your gaming room without having this big setup. Now the GT1080 HDR, it's not just about the short throw. The image quality, oh man, it's pretty sweet for the price range. It's got this 1080p resolution with HDR, right? Which means your colors pop, they're vibrant, they're rich, and it has this dynamic contrast feature that gives your blacks and whites a real boost. Great for movies or gaming sessions. Plus, it's got a 120 hertz refresh rate, so when you're playing fast-paced games, the action looks super smooth, which is, you know, really important for gamers. But um, just a heads up, while the built-in speaker is decent, if you're all about the audio experience, you might want to connect it to an external sound system. It gets the job done, but, you know, for that real cinematic or immersive gaming experience, better sound is key. As for connectivity, you've got HDMI, VGA, USB. It's got all the essentials. And the lamp life. Oh boy, you get up to 15,000 hours, so you won't be worrying about replacing that anytime soon. Overall, the Optoma GT1080 HDR. It's a solid pick, especially if you don't want to break the bank. All right, diving right into the BenQ TH671ST. This is a projector that's kind of hit the sweet spot for budget-conscious users, right? So if you're like me and you've got a smaller space, but you still want that big screen experience, um, this short throw projector is a pretty solid choice. It's got 1080p full HD, which means you're getting crisp, clear images and the colors. They're vibrant thanks to its high brightness and contrast ratios. What's neat is you won't need to black out your room to enjoy it. This projector does a decent job even with some ambient light. Now, let's talk gaming because I know that's a big deal for a lot of you. The TH671ST has a low input lag, which is a fancy way of saying there's hardly any delay between your controller inputs and what happens on screen. That's crucial when you're in the heat of a game and you need that immediate response. Plus, the short throw ratio means you can get a huge image from just a few feet away from the wall or screen. We're talking a 100 inch picture from just 1.5 meters out. That's pretty impressive for a projector at this price point. But you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. While the built-in speaker is a nice touch, it's just okay. I'd suggest hooking up an external sound system for a more immersive experience. And um, while it's mostly great for movies and games, if you're looking at using it for something like presentations, the text clarity could be a bit sharper. But all things considered, the BenQ TH671ST is um, a really solid contender for anyone looking to get a lot of bang for their buck in a short throw projector. All right, let's talk about the ViewSonic PX706 HD projector, because I've been getting a ton of questions about what the best budget short throw projector is. And um, yeah, this one's definitely caught my attention. So the PX706 HD, it's pretty impressive for the price point. Um, you're getting a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution which is like pretty standard, but still great for movies and games, especially if you're not quite ready to jump to 4K. And it's got this 3000 lumens brightness, 
which means it's actually pretty versatile, right? You can use it in different lighting conditions without losing out on picture quality, which uh, that's a big plus if you ask me. Now, as for the short throw aspect, it can project a 100-inch image from just a little over a meter away from the screen or wall. That's quite handy um, if you're tight on space or if you're setting up for like a movie night in a small apartment or something. And you know, gaming on a big screen without any delay, that's the dream. And the PX706 HD's low input lag makes it a solid choice for gaming. One slight downside though, the built-in speakers are just okay, not amazing. But let's be real, if you're serious about audio, you're probably going to hook up an external sound system anyway. So yeah, overall, the PX706 HD from ViewSonic is a contender for sure. For folks who need a budget-friendly, high-performing short throw projector, this one, it might just be the ticket. Keep in mind, with tech stuff, there's always something newer around the corner. But as of right now, this is a strong pick. Hey folks, Mark here. And that just about wraps up our dive into the best budget short throw projectors on the market right now. I hope this guide has shed some light on the perfect pick for your home theater or gaming setup without stretching that wallet too thin, you know? Um, if you're itching to get more info or maybe snag one for yourself, I've gone ahead and dropped some handy links right down there in the description for you. Just a little click away and you'll be all set. Oh, and if you dug this video, would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this tech trainer rolling, right? Plus, ding that little bell so you'll get notified whenever I drop a fresh video. There's always new gadgets to talk about, and I'm all about sharing the deets with you guys. And hey, I know picking a projector can get kinda tricky, so if you're sitting there with a question bubbling up, just pop it down in the comments. I love getting into those tech talks with you, or even helping out if you're stuck between a couple options. The community here is amazing for that kind of stuff too, trust me. Lastly, don't forget to check out my other videos. I've covered everything from the top smartphones to the coolest drones and everything in between. Whether you're a hardcore tech enthusiast or just looking to make your day-to-day -day a bit more high-tech, I've got something that'll catch your eye. All right, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep teching it easy, friends. Catch you in the next one.